<laughs> How many glasses do you guys need? Anyone who's ever sat in a bar at last call and lamented when the bartender says, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Well, now you can. It's literally a stone's throw away from where you drink, having your sip of beer, step up the stairs, and you can fall into bed. Stone's Throw Brewing in Bellingham's Fairhaven neighborhood offers a guest room where people can actually stay the night. There are two beds, a pull-out couch, a full kitchen and bath, <laughs> and plenty of company. If you're staying at the guest house, you need to love beer and like people because you are surrounded by the brewery. There's actually quite a bit of history to this place. The guest house used to be a brothel in the 1800s. The current owners actually lived here as well. They even had taps installed. But these days, you have to go downstairs to get a beer. Am I allowed to go behind the bar and pour myself a beer or two? No, sorry. Really? <laughs> yes, really. Brothel not included. Not included, no. <laughs> this is where all the magic happens. There are about 450 breweries in Washington right now. That's fourth most in America. With 15 breweries in Bellingham alone, operators often have to do more than just provide great beer to stand out. Stone's Throw has seen visitors from as far away as England and South Africa. What's the best part about living in a brewery? I would say that the beer is on your doorstep, that you get to smell the grain in the morning when the brew is happening. Um, and I think hearing the laughter or people enjoying, enjoying themselves. That and the fact that beer lovers can now take the bar room to the bedroom. In Bellingham, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.